Greetings, everybody, to the um, spring um, quarterly feedback for uh, for the retirement funds. Have a look at the shirt here. Um, it's definitely spring, and if you take a drive out to Postburg Nature Reserve, you will find that um, the shirt feels like it's not very bright in comparison to what it looks like there this year. So we've had a reasonably um, good quarter again. So what have we seen um, in this particular quarter? So you can see almost all of the asset classes are positive for the quarter, excepting for the local equity market, which was down a marginal 0.12%. Um, so if we go through it, you'll see that we had a weaker RAND. So the weaker RAND resulted in offshore cash giving you a positive return of 4%. Uh, offshore bonds were better than that. They were nearly 6% return and offshore equity was up nearly 10%. So offshore equity, a really good quarter. So surprising then that local equity only delivered or delivered a slightly negative return. Um, and I'm sure you're all aware that that's all about NUSPA's process. So that's the that's been the um, drag on our market during the quarter. And I'll leave that to the equity guys to discuss um, why, how, where, where, where to from here. Uh, another surprise property, again, the best performing asset class. Um, and if you listen to just about any of these fund managers talking about property, everyone is either underweight or doesn't like it. And yet almost every quarter, it's one of the best performing asset classes. So what's going on there if local institutions aren't buying? Um, and I think the story is really um, corporate action in the sector. So property companies buying themselves, um, entrepreneurial players uh, taking out these assets at um, what they possibly consider to be bargain basement prices. Certainly if you compare them to the um, to, to, to the replacement value and then cash is small positive and uh, South African bonds up 3.66%. So generally speaking, a good good tailwinds for for asset managers in the um, in the retirement space. So how did our funds do? So the personal trust managed fund delivered 3.88% for the quarter, marginally behind the benchmark, uh, nicely ahead of the peer group. Um, and one year numbers look good. And um, yeah, generally speaking, it's a nice quarter to be reporting back to clients. Um, I'll tell you now why we were behind benchmark. We were behind benchmark because primarily we slightly underweight property, 8% instead of 10, and we significantly underweight offshore bonds. Um, so, you know, they, those gave a 6% return and we we're only half weight there. So that, 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 would have, um, that would have dampened our returns relative relative to the benchmark. Those those asset allocations haven't changed significantly since last quarter. Um, we remain significantly overweight South African bonds um, and we slightly underweight our local our local equity um, market. Uh, what are the top holdings in that PT managed fund, which comes from our exposure to CAPI? Um, so Billiton Anglo-American, top two holdings. Um, then we have Richmond, Process Nuspass. You can see the um, transaction that's gone through there, which has pushed the process weighting up relative to Nuspass. And then the banks are starting to come into the top 10 now, Standard Bank, First Round, and MTN, which has had a very good quarter as well. So those, 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 um, those companies out, outperforming the market, uh, particularly during this quarter. In fact, Surprisingly, this quarter was very good for SA Inc shares, and yet the RAND was quite weak during the quarter. So that's that's something new, it's, and it's unexpected as well. And you also wouldn't have expected property to do well in an environment where the RAND was weakening. So there's there's some action taking place in the market that that's not following traditional patterns. Uh, the Personal Trust Prudent Fund this quarter delivered 2.89%, which is ahead of its benchmark. Remember, the benchmark here is an inflation plus benchmark, and it's slightly behind the peer group average, actually, for this particular quarter. Um, 
its asset allocation, so um, a bigger asset allocation to local equity than we have and a bigger asset allocation to offshore equity than we have in our managed fund. So quite aggressive in equity. So the local equity would have hurt somewhat. Bonds, similar to where we are, um, they don't have much offshore cash or, or, or bonds. Um, how did the underlying managers perform? Well, the Satrix Balanced Index Fund was the best performer this quarter, 5.2%. Then Prudential at 4.9, 91 at 4.6. We know 91 has got a big offshore asset allocation, and so therefore that would have helped them in this quarter. And then Coronation at 2.6, Aylid at 2.3, and, and Alan Gray at 1.8. So you could see the guys that, um, well, other, other than Aylid, which has had a fabulous run as we know certainly coronation and Alan gray would have been caught in the downdraft of the process naspas um, situation so both of them quite heavily weighted in in those stocks and so that would have that would have hurt their relative performance during the quarter prudential surprisingly not hurt um, i'm surprised at that number i must say i think perhaps it's their big property weighting that they've had um, which, um, which, which, which has helped them during the quarter. Having a look at the conservative managed fund, managed to deliver 3.7% for the quarter, slightly behind the benchmark, nicely ahead of the peer group, and not too dissimilar if you see that quarterly performance relative to, the, um, to, to our managed fund. So you know, managed fund's got obviously a bigger equity weighting than the conservative managed fund. Equity weighting wasn't that great for the quarter, but uh, generally 3.7% in this fund. Very nice, thank you very much. A nice, nice good quarter and good annual figures um, as well for, for this particular fund. Um, how we positioned here? Well, again, it's similar to the managed fund in that we have a big overweight position in, in local bonds. Um, we're about equal weight in property here. Um, and so I must Next time the properties have a little bit of a rally, I must do some selling there to just get that down. Um, we're a little bit over, over a little bit underweight uh, local equity here, and you know, offshore bonds would have hurt, hurt us because again, you know, offshore bonds delivered six percent versus offshore cash at four. So again, we would have we would have suffered there um, having a small a small weighting in offshore bonds and a and a big weighting in our big weighting in offshore cash. But generally speaking, very happy with the performance and happy with my asset allocation there at the moment. Uh, the, 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 the top holdings, again, is absolutely the same as what we have in the managed fund. Billiton, Anglo-American, Richmond, the big holdings, nice person process, you can see. And again, we've chatted about the banks, um, etc. So um, we um, We've had it. We've had another good quarter. Um, we've had a tough start to the quarter in terms of markets. Um, so let's hope it doesn't continue for for too long. But you know, after six positive quarters, it's almost bound that we're going to have a that we're going to have a negative one at some time. So enjoy the spring quarter and good luck out there.